Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for April 2019 for the, the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you're an Aquarius or a cross watcher, welcome. This goes for sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, yeah, so today, <laughs> today I'm going to be using the Star Child Tarot, the Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle, and the Fairies Oracle. I'm going to be doing a long extended reading for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. You can go ahead and grab a cup of tea or coffee and just really, really um, integrate these messages. Well, this is a general reading for Aquarius. So some things might apply for you. Others might not. You might feel like you don't resonate with all the messages. If you would like a longer, maybe an hour reading, a half an hour reading specifically for your energy, just check out the website below and you can go ahead and book a private session with me. I would love to work with you and get to know you. So that would be awesome. I'm gonna leave all the information below. Also know, while well, I shuffle the cards, that if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to subscribe. I am actively trying to make this family grow and it's been so much fun, honestly, to be here on YouTube. I've been meaning to do this for so long and I've never really had the time to do it until now. So I am very, very excited to be here, to do all the readings for you guys, to hear about you and what you think about the readings and everything. It's been amazing. So I would love to have you here. Please subscribe, please. It will make me so happy. Know that I also post, I post the zodiac sign readings one daily. So if you would like your zodiac sign to have priority and you would like your video to come out sooner, just make sure to comment, like, subscribe, tag, you know, like, show me that you're there. Show me that there's people watching this sign. And that way I'm gonna be giving priority to the sign and posting way sooner. So you don't have to wait, you know, till the last minute. Especially for those subscribers, you don't have to wait for all the signs to go by <laughs> without yours coming up. I know that can be a little, you know, annoying when you're waiting for your sign. I know it because other readers do that. And I love, I love the feeling I get when I get my sign reading, finally. I wouldn't like to make you wait, so please just show me that you're watching. Let's see. <laughs> what else can I share with you as I shuffle? April is an interesting month. I think that we are having a little bit of a breather after this Mercury retrograde in Pisces. I feel like everyone's happy about that shift. I know I am. <laughs> Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Yay, your wish is granted. That's a good way to start. I think that's what I'm going to name this reading. Maybe. Your wish is granted. Okay, let's see what is in store for you guys. Let's see what's up. Um, April is going to be a month in which you're going to feel like you are entering your path finally. In the recent past, you may have been dealing with emotional situations, um, situations with other people that might have held you back from entering your path once and for all. You might have been dealing with confusions, details, lacks, lack of clarity in general. So I feel like as soon as April rolls in, you're going to be clear of where you're going and where you want to go and what you want to do. The challenge this month might be communication with others. Um, due to the Mercury retrograde, maybe you guys have had challenges with communication in the month of March. And now you need to kind of like bring that back into a harmony and harmonic space. You might still feel like there's information that you need that is not coming through to you yet. Maybe you're like waiting for a message from the universe, waiting for that answer, waiting for that idea, and you can feel that it's coming, but it's not there yet for some of you guys.
But regardless, you are moving on. You are moving on from a situation that helped, that kept you stuck. You are moving on to something better. You're feeling. You're feeling like that. There's nothing waiting for you anymore from where you're coming, and the place that you are going to now has all the potential for you. So you're heading that way. You're heading towards your new reality. You're heading towards your dreams. You're leaving leaving behind all the situations that simply are not serving you anymore. You might feel a little nostalgic because of you're letting go of so many things because you are letting go of a lot of things. You're just moving forward and you know it's right. You know that's the right thing to do. But however, you might feel this sense of nostalgia. You might feel like, oh, well, that's a shame because I'm going to miss this which I'm leaving behind or I'm going to miss this person which I might be leaving behind. I might you know, I don't know, like, I I wonder if I'm doing the right thing. You might enter that space. But I feel like you're going to be so inspired for the things that are coming that it's going to be easier for you to release what is no longer serving you. However, it seems like you're going to do things in a very smart way. I don't feel like you're trying to go at an impulse. I feel like you're actually analyzing the situation. You are actually like thinking about what is the best way to transition from the past into the future you might be holding on to your money you might be being consciously careful of not spending money in things that is are not important you might be yeah actively trying not to spend too much or you might be protecting your guarding your environment guarding yourself guarding your possessions guarding your heart you might be in a very peaceful, defensive state. And what I mean by that is, I am here, I am completely relaxed, I am good, but I'm not going to let anything come in where I haven't invited it. Like, you are protecting your space, you're protecting your energy. And you're in a place right now in which you are evaluating perspectives you are thinking, what if I do this? How is that going to feel? What if I change my mind and look at it differently? What if there's a different perspective that is waiting for me to tap into it? I feel like some of you guys might be really, really needing a perspective change. This is the traditional hangman, but it's in this deck is called perspective. So the hangman is often depicted as this guy which is hanging upside down from a tree or a branch or something like that. And he's just enjoying the perspective. Things look different when you're upside down. So maybe you can get upside down in a sense to see things differently. Is there any chance that the way you're seeing things is limiting you? Is there any chance that you are convinced that something is a certain way? and that conviction is limiting you, you can change that. Maybe you are stuck in your beliefs right now. Maybe you think something is too hard, or something will take too long, or something is impossible, when maybe it's not. Give yourself a chance to see things differently. You have a hope for clients, abundance, money, job opportunities, work, diligent focused work. You're craving that on the go schedule. You're craving that productivity, maybe some of you guys, but some other of you guys or even the same people might be resisting it as well. So it's like this feeling of maybe I should start doing something new, something that pushes me, something that really gets me going. But at the same time, I don't know if I'm up for it. Maybe I'm just I'm just better being in this comfort zone. Maybe I don't want to push myself that much. So it's kind of like a love-hate thing <laughs> that you've got going with this idea of hard work. You're going to find out that by receiving help from others, you can achieve greater results at work without pushing yourself too hard. It's funny because the Three of Crystals is a card of teamwork, um, of allowing others to help you, allowing the interactions in your life to support your goals. And then we have here 
simplify your life and helpful person so maybe just maybe for some of you guys you are meaning to achieve higher levels of success abundance and work you might be wanting to go into bigger projects achieve greater goals but you're afraid that it's going to be too much on you a good way in which you can get there and simplify your life at the same time is through maybe hire, hiring a helpful person or relying on someone who's helpful, a friend, a partner, someone who can be there for you and support you as you go through this expansion. The message from this card, helpful person, says someone wants to help you. Think of whom, my, whom that might be and initiate contact. Maybe there's people around you who are dying to help, who are bored, who need something to do who have the skills that you need who could use a job you know think about it someone wants to help you think of whom that might be and initiate contact simplify your life eliminate clutter from your home and work to balance the flow of activities another possibility is that you guys are trying to make too many things happen at once there's a possibility that you are focused on juggling too many um, balls in the air at this time. And that can create a little bit of clutter, which is preventing you from achieving the things you want because there's too much in the air. Some of you guys might be dealing with father healing in the month of April, maybe a situation with an authority figure, with a masculine figure, with a father figure. Um, your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven so there's a lot of things that might come up with this father archetype if maybe you haven't had a, a father present in your life it's very likely that maybe you don't know how to relate to a man in that way um, there might be some expectations that you place on men that might be a way to reconnect to your missing father figure you know there's a lot of things that could be going and happening under the surface in your unconscious mind and some people don't experience this some others do if if this is the case for you it's very likely that you're going to resonate with this message if it applies for you you're going to feel like yes this is the month i need to forgive my father for this or this is the month in which i feel like i'm having conflict with my dad about this or or with my boss or with this authority figure or this emperor figure in my life so for some of you guys, this is going to be present. And it is indeed um, in recommended. I think that's the word I should use. Um, it is indeed recommended for you to release any father related issues. Give that to God. Give that to the universe. Release it. And that's going to help your own personal power grow as well. There's new abundance for you. There are come. There are a lot of opportunities coming for you. There's a lot of maybe. I feel like clients. Some of you guys work with clients. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of like new clients in the month of April, and they're gonna feel like this. They're gonna feel like a treasure chest. This card, the treasure chest. You might feel like you ran into a treasure, in the form of a new client, a new form of abundance, a windfall, an opportunity. Something massive is coming your way. Um, obviously for each one of you guys it's going to be different but your wish is granted if you were asking for clients and money and abundance and work your wish is granted um, but remember that easy does it stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open you open for you allow yourself to surrender into these new possibilities focus on practicing your craft those are you that are meaning to become experts in a different in a particular area practice 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 Practice, practice, be focused, diligent, do the things that you need to do. Don't stress too much about things and you'll see that you will manifest what you desire, okay? Just focus on the work, focus on your craft, focus on what you need to do and do it lovingly. Stop trying to control things, allow things to flow and allow the universe to keep pushing you in the right direction. You are already in your path, you are already coming closer and closer to the information that you need to know to keep moving forward. You don't have to do everything alone. You can have someone to help you out. And there's a lot of abundance coming. It's a great month for you guys. You might feel a little nostalgic about the things that you're leaving behind. You might be feeling a little um, 
defensive a bit, but I feel like it's in a healthy way. Know that everything is available for you this month. It's a wonderful reading, Aquarius. I am so happy for you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I would love to have you here, as I mentioned earlier. And know that I'm going to be leaving my information below so you can get personalized readings. I'm going to be leaving a donation link. If you ever feel inclined to donate, it is not necessary. But if you ever feel like it, I would be very, very grateful for that as well. Some of you guys um, have told me that you want to give me card decks. I would love that. I'm going to be leaving all the information below as well. I can't get enough cards. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I Every single deck that exists in this world, I would enjoy it. So I am open for that. Thank you so much for those suggestions. That's been very sweet of you guys. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Let's stay in touch. I'll be posting the other readings very soon. I'm posting videos every Friday as well um, about content to teach you how to manifest your reality. So you can go ahead and check those out. Those are evergreen and timeless um, as opposed to the readings. I hope this was very helpful for you. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful month of April. Okay? Bye, you guys. Love you.